Uh, today we publish a new report looking at social enterprise schools which effectively asks the question how can the private sector be harnessed in order to improve state education across the country. Um, we're in a position at the minute where we have real challenges facing our schools. We need roughly half a million um, new school places by 2018 and we quite, we quite simply don't uh, have the right school places in, in the right um, places and the, the provision uh, isn't there where it's needed. And so we think that the private sector can be harnessed in order to address some of those key challenges, primarily by providing the scale that is really needed to drive this reform forward. In essence, the private sector have been involved in state education for a number of years here in, in the UK, particularly in relation to special education needs, to pupil referral units and to nursery education. And during the course of the research, um, we looked at some particular local authorities and found that really quite staggering amounts of their provision in those areas was provided by uh, for-profit making com companies. So Middlesbrough um, Local Authority, for example, about 90% of their uh, nursery education is provided by for-profit making companies. If you look further afield in the international scene in Sweden and in the United States of America, um, for-profit companies uh, provide a lot of education there. So roughly about two-thirds of Swedish free schools are run by for-profit paying companies and about 56% of American charter schools are also run by for-profit making companies. Um, in those instances we see that those free schools and charter schools have had a marked improve, uh, in, improved the education uh, in many instances and, and therefore the uh, for-profit providers uh, must be taking some credit for that. But primarily, in, in both of those countries, we see that for-profit providers provide scale and allow good models of education to be scaled up at a much more rapid pace. However, we acknowledge that politically, this is a very difficult issue here in the UK at the moment, um, and therefore we suggest a social enterprise approach, uh, a series of pilots uh, in, the, in, in, in line with a, a John Lewis-style mutuals. Um, which would allow us to, uh, to test the private sector. Um, this would involve a, a school being set up by a private company, perhaps in conjunction with teachers as co-owners. They would be able to take 50% of any surplus that that school produced, and that would go to shareholders, but the remaining 50% would have to be reinvested into the school. There would be important caveats with this, of course. We would uh, recommend that uh, these pilots should be set up in areas of deprivation where at least 20% of the pupils were on free school meals. And in addition to that, none of the surplus should be paid out to any shareholder until those schools were meeting set uh, very clear targets on progress. So all in all, I see this as, a, as a, an important uh, step for potential reform in the future. It's something which we believe that we need to test and look further into uh, and we feel it's a, it's, it's a good and responsible way to harness the private sector at this stage.